So this conference will be in its format, uh, the first one, uh, and uh, we plan to organize at least yearly similar events. Huh? All right, I'll invite uh, Ms. Nyana Vartanian to address her short introductory speech regarding healthcare management and teamwork. Okay. Good morning everyone and I would like to start with my thanking speech, like with my thank you words. This is a big honor for me that I have got this opportunity to share my, um, let's say, uh, experience uh, with you because teamwork and management, especially in medicine, is an essential uh, part of you to succeed in your whole career, okay? Uh, so let's start. So my topic is teamwork and management in medicine. Uh, when we speak about medicine, we think that, okay, patients and doctors, that's it. But in fact, behind that idea, there is a sm not small, but big phenomenon, which is business. Guys, business, why? Because people are so shy to talk about uh, their business. They think that when they are speaking about earning money and uh, curing people is a shameful thing, but no. Is, uh, in case uh, you don't earn money, you cannot invest and you cannot go ahead, right? But if you want to succeed, you should uh, get quite good money, right, for that. And what the patients do? They pay you in order to get a cure, right? And you take the money in order to be able to cure them. Now let's see how you should start your business or how you should act in the teamwork in order to succeed in your career. Now let's see. Here I have got one beautiful video. Let's see. It's a short one. This is uh, like very simple example of the teamwork. because if the bird came and uh, could eat the crab, the crab could uh, be gone. But because they were team with team, they could overcome the obstacle. So what is teamwork? When we uh, speak about teamwork, it happens when all people in the team, they go for a common goal, guys. So they don't have any other uh, separate goals for that. And define, defining teamwork is simple, but what if when you uh, are acting in it is quite perplex, it's complicated. So when teamwork uh, means to you might be different. What team uh, for the uh, or um, I mean it can it can be different for you rather than for the teammates in the team. And one key to a successful team when individuals realize that working together on a project is more effective rather than working individually. And teams are effective when they are not just dividing up tasks and go and work individually to get it faster done, rather than they work together and then they get the result. Now let's go and see. Solid teamwork, you know, right? Strong teamwork. What components we have in order to have it? Practice. When you practice a lot, you know each other's shortcomings and advantages. You are already having the privilege to know your team and that you can cover all those shortcomings. Guidance. When you are the leader, you should guide your teamwork, guys. A team, in order to have that solid teamwork, otherwise you will fail. Common goal. As I mentioned, your team should be intended to have the common goal, not the separate ones. Otherwise, again, a failure is there. And collaboration. Collaboration is also a must for the team in order not to get split, but all together, okay? Now let's go ahead. Personal success metrics. Achieving your goals. Ability to constantly self-improve. Happiness and well-being. Impact on others, influence, power, respect, alignment with values, and fulfillment. Guys, as we know that the team consists of individuals, 
but individual stem cells in their uh, place, they should work on themselves. Otherwise, the team will be so weak and uh, it cannot be successful. Now let's see the plan, how the team should put the plan. Firstly, what is success? Can we measure it? How does teamwork influence metrics? What can we do in real life? And what can we take home or workplace? When we understand all these points, the success is here with us. So now let's understand how we measure teamwork performance. <coughs> uh -huh, here is our leader. So the leader is the essential person in the team who, uh, let's say, controls the situation. And here we have decision making and interaction. You know that all team members should make decisions. Not just one person decides and the others follow. No, everyone should have their speech and their role in the decision making. The good identification of a good team is that every team member plays its part in decision making. And when there is no critical analysis, there is no opposite opinions, it means that we have weakness in our teamwork. And therefore, we are having the quality of our work, right? The quality is also one of the essential measurements of the teamwork. The second one comes the helpfulness and of team members. When we, uh, when we uh, decide to avoid from helping each other, guys, it means that we are not a team member, we are not a good team player. We should help each other. When you see that someone has lack of motivation or is not good at something and you are, you can uh, like uh, fulfill that part, then you should do it without minding, without th thinking even for a minute. And it's a vital role in promoting a teamwork. Having a friendly environment, especially in hospital, helps team to produce more effective results. Imagine you are in a surgical room. What happens? You are the doctor, but you think you are, you are the doctor, you are the best. Okay, how about the others, your assistants, your nurses? If they don't uh, play with you, let's say play with you, then you will fail in your surgery. Correct? Yes. So how, uh, the next one is the deadline for meeting uh, goals. Uh, when you put the deadline, you should not procrastinate. You know, right, what is procrastination? delaying, putting off, so that shouldn't work for your uh, experience, especially medical uh, experience. So uh, this is another important thing for a team to meet the deadlines to achieve realistic goals. Yeah, realistic goals. And here, our leader also plays an essential part here in order to motivate all people to help each other. Someone is again less, uh, having lack of motivation, then the other should help them. And here we are coming with punctuality. So as we understand, meeting the deadlines is interconnected uh, our punctuality. Next one is skills development of team member. You know, when the team is there, you should always try to uh, develop their skills, like uh, hosting other uh, specialists from other countries or even from other hospitals. You should have uh, courses of teamwork and trainings uh, and uh, group bonding programs and onboarding new members. So this will help you guys to move on. Imagine you are a team member and you are just coming to work and go home. That's boring, right? You should have something to motivate you in order to uh, develop your skills and to move on. Last but not least, ideas sharing in teamwork. When you don't share, when you don't allow to your team members to share your ideas, it means you are failing, guys. Because another value way to measure teamwork performance is to ensure employees speak their ideas in a meeting. And they should be responsible for their ideas as well as for their mistakes they make. Which means that they will be uh, responsible to cover them uh, for the future stuff. Now, save and develop teamwork. Actually, research on teams and teamwork processes within healthcare is important for two main reasons. First one is the quality and safety of care delivery systems. And the second one, the healthcare industry provides the means to develop and test theories on a large scale across a wide range of team types. Now let's go. Us versus them pitfall. Do you know what is pitfall? 
What is beautiful? Huh? Trap. It's a trap. When you are in a team and you are saying us, 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 and them, 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 it means you are not a team player. So yeah, here we are coming um, out of the team playing, okay? Unfortunately, one of the barriers to developing this mental framework is human nature. When you see someone is mistaken, ah, oh, this is his mistake, this is not mine. But why? You are in a one same team, right? So you should also accept the fact that this mistake is yours and you should work on it. Next one is suspend judgment. Suspend judgment when you are operating with a collaborative mindset. We approach conflict by assuming that everyone is do it, trying to do their best to overcome the obstacles. And using this approach will also enable us to intervene if a colleague makes a negative assumption about a team member. So speaking poorly about one of your members, it means you are again making your team uh, very poor in front of the other team members. Because a hospital, if you have a mm, like private clinic, is different. But when you are working in a huge hospital, there are so many numerous and various teams, right? And you should make sure that your team is the best. Next one is the value team integration. According to research team-based care can improve the safety, efficiency, and quality of healthcare. An effective team have, uh, teams have a clear, common understanding of each other's roles and responsibilities, which allows to act appropriately and work together effectively. Next one is create psychological safety. So you shouldn't press, you shouldn't uh, psychologically press your team members. So you are not good at this, you are not at good at that. You should talk to each other. You should have that interaction with your team members in order to understand which part is the shortcoming in order to overcome that part. Uh, and also psychological safety is an important differentiator in creating learning organizations where people can grow and contribute to improving performance. And here guys, uh, I have my last word. As we understand teamwork is one of the, I mean, the, the essential part of your success, okay? Uh, if you want to succeed, you should be either the good uh, leader of your team or you should be a good team player. And here we have, if you want to succeed, join a good team or make one. And here I want to say, when you meet a, uh, let's say, poisonous uh, director or a leader, imagine your a possibility of your death, <laughs> it's a bad thing, increases for 8%. So please, let's not to be toxic and let's respect and value each other. Thank you. Thank you, Diana, for your uh, great introduction.